Hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to Honkai Star Rail. Uh, so it's been like a couple of weeks, I think, since the last time I recorded here. Um, well, I did attempt to do... Square formation, circular form. I did attempt to do a couple of videos for the second channel, but I literally messed both of them up. <laughs> On the second one, I recorded for like two hours and then realized that I forgot to turn on my freaking model. So it just wasn't there. Yay. Anyways, uh, didn't miss much in those. Um, did a lot of, uh, exploration around Penicone mostly. Opening chests and, uh, finding birds and such. And I did some pulls. Did not get Akron. Um, I do have some standard pulls here, so we'll go ahead and use those. I would love to come out of this banner with um, E4. That is really loud in my headphones, so I'm turning that down a little. Yeah, I would love to come out of this banner with E4 Acheron, which would mean just one more copy of her. Uh, my pity is quite high at this point. Should be like over 60. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68. Yeah, it's getting up there. So, anyways. We are going to do some adventure missions, I think. Um, around Penacone. Specifically, I really wanted, I want to do this one. Because I did kind of accidentally stumble on the beginning of it. Um, Dr. Edward, the, the eye guy. Time to log off. I mean, it uh, head back. He sent me a text and was like, hey, there's this thing I want you to do. Go meet up with my partner over here. And this is who he was talking about, I suppose. And I, I think this is how I unlock Apocalyptic Shadow. I know, I am super late to that. I know, I know. So... The city chiseled from the primordial dreamscape. Is that puppet over there the one who collaborates with Dr. Edward? Let me check it out. The unknown forms are captivating, and the elusive shadows dance gracefully. Everything shall be reborn, in the name of destruction, at the moment of finality and atop finality's cliff. Who are you? I seek the traces of finality. You can call me Elegy. Finally, you're here. The one who looked at the apocalypse in the eye. I've been waiting for you for a long time. The puppet wearing a black veil over her face doesn't move, yet you somehow feel that she gave you a small curtsy. Why are you dressed in mourning attire? Because I'm the one who mourns for the dying world. I just noticed her feet are like... on point. Time is flowing backward, and the world becomes increasingly fragmented every moment in. That's what I mourn for. You're here for those apoc apocalyptic shadows, right? Do you make dream bubbles for Dr. Edward? You can see it that way, but Dr. Edward and I have different destinations. We only complement each other's needs at this moment where time intersects. 
I travel between civilizations at the moment of their obliteration and track down intelligence from countless annihilated worlds. As for Dr. Edward, he attaches more importance to the commercial value of these traces. Are you a morning? No. Are you a messenger from the Garden of Recollection? No, I'm not mourning the worlds that are already, eventually, destroyed, but the future, past, that is destined to reach to finality. Seeking traces of finality, that is the calling of us creed exequies. Memory is the breeding ground of dreams. Behind each of the many do-or-die battles you have experienced lies a pot potential finality. The traces of finality can probably be found therein. I'll reward you generously for your help. Would you be willing to share your past, future dreams with me? What should I do? Please close your eyes and let me help you with the backtracking to see finality's projection. You close your eyes and hear an elegy. You can feel yourself sinking, getting further away from the real world. However, you find the deaths you once narrowly escaped drawing closer. Yep, here it is. Apocalyptic Shadow is a series of highly difficult challenge stages that are refreshed periodically. In Apocalyptic Shadow, trailblazers must face projections of finality and defeat bosses they have faced before. You know, I just remembered the other day I saw this uh, video on my home screen with like a YouTube. Er, oh my god, I'm I'm tripping over my words. It, a, a video on my YouTube home screen with a thumbnail or something like that that was like. We need more endgame in Honkai Star Rail. And I was like, no, we don't. There's already three endgame modes. How is that not enough for you? God. Uh, in Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers must face, face projections of finality and defeat bosses they've faced before. These formidable foe materializations will have slight differences between them and regular enemy bosses. Trailblazers can check out the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, updated with unique ruinous embers, and there will be different stage effects during combat. Uh, weakness break recovers skill points and activates ultimates. Okay. So, can check the boss traits. The core traits are the key to completing the boss shadow challenge. Okay, so break is uh, our main priority here. for this one. Buffs. And then for this one, of course go with our old reliable. Alright. 
Let's see how it goes. I mean, these ones are only level 60, because this is only the, the first one. Mm, spicy, stimulating. Please stay Something soon. ominous has arrived. Burn away! <laughs> Action value timers. The corresponding action values will be deducted after allies or enemies take action. Stage finalization and score data are affected by two factors, the boss's remaining HP percentage and remaining action value after defeating the boss. Um. Okay, so it's limited actions, not limited turns. Time to test our rapport. Who needs that? Be of your body and mind. Ready. Mood is set just right. Let the show begin. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers, I charge extra. <laughs> huh. More business, eh? Look. Time for an overhaul. Made the foul stench just yeah. The truth for everything in this world is bleeding. Watch your feet. Take Ow. your positions. Zoning out. I can help. Everything in this world is bleeding. You won't get away. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin. Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Yes, yeah, Sampo. Uh, I think I need to level up his light like, cone. Maybe allow me to purge the room. There was the something problem. I still needed to do with him. So he's not Oops. doing quite as good as he could be. <laughs> something for everybody. We're just having fun. But he has been performing surprisingly well for me regardless. So. Take your positions. <laughs> See no issue in keeping him around here. All right, onward. Ready when Hi, you Sunday. Are. A slow simmer over low heat. Feeling lucky. Something lucky. about the effects here. Feeling lucky. Stream four. My computer does not like. Trickier to crack. Touch for fun. <laughs> By your presence. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you? Yeah. Oh, noisy. I weep for the departed. It takes a fall. All the work of creation has been completed. The inevitable day has arrived. The embryo of philosophy. Right. Any time left. I swear. <laughs> Yapatron 5000. Uh -huh. 
so funny how she just like deletes the HP bars although the desperate crises you have experienced did not bring about the finality it has made their mumbling much clearer is the apocalypse inevitable? That day will definitely has already come. At some point in time earlier, I definitely caught their murmuring. They said you would join, had joined them in their journey in the near future, not too long ago. Why me? Because you have received their grace. Wherever you walk, you are under their gaze. What you practice is also their prophecy that has already been, yet to be, announced. The stars are their eyes, and the breeze is their hands. Every disaster that befalls you is a revelation of finality. I'll reward you as promised. If possible, please continue assisting me. Those images of the apocalypse can help my search for the shapeless prince, one against the current. Huh? What's that mean? <laughs> Requiem of the Rose. The form of the unknown causes one to stop while the unpredictable shadow dances gracefully. Alright, let's uh... Oh, is it just the same bosses? But like at higher difficulties? I see no reason to change the lineup, if so. Mm, spicy. Stimulated. Please stay tuned. Something ominous has arrived. <laughs> Let's go. See how far we can get. Oh shit. Time to test our rapport. <laughs> What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. May the foul stench dissipate quickly of your body. Ready? The truth burns clear as a everything in this world. It's it. Perhaps you still do. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Stay in step. The mood is set just By the way, I mentioned the second channel earlier. There will be a link in the description down below. <laughs> do be sure to go subscribe over there if you're not already. I'm definitely going to be posting a lot more over there. Um, Watch your feet. I'll probably put like take your positions. My simulated universe stuff and all of that there. We're just having fun. And uh, my end game stuff going forward and all of that. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. The truth burns everything in this world. It's bleeding. Also, just right. Let the show begin. For my star rail viewers here, uh, I am planning to make a video about the flame chasers. For those of you who don't know Honkai Third Lore, don't really know why everybody's freaking out. <laughs> 
and that's gonna go over on the second channel. So yeah, be sure to subscribe so you see that when it drops. Stench just a bit quick time to cleanse the fill. You won't get away. Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. The truth for everything in this world is bleeding. Take a guess. Ouch. Ah, crap. Wait, crap. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? Does Link Shaw have... I charge extra. Uh, debuff plans? I don't think Take she does. Position. She might, I don't set. remember. I mean, I could check. Shot. Do you have debuff cleanse? Oh, she does. All right, cool. Oh, allow me to purge the root of the problem. Be of your body and mind. <laughs> Ow. All right, we're good. We're in the clear. <laughs> Something for everybody. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> get weakness broken. Away. The truth for everything in this world is bleeding. <laughs> the mood is set. Let the show begin. Perhaps you still. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. <laughs> Over to the Sunday side of things. Over boat. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. Oh my God, adventuring you're useless. Wait, I literally didn't need to do that. All of these types are the things that he's already weak to. That's funny. I didn't even realize. I'm on it by your since you're already here. Why not have a meal before you noisy? I weep for the departed. It gives up all. Take a chill pill, sir. I swear. I'm Listen true. to your sister's music and calm down. It's better to make no move. I swear on the calendar. Huh? The dice have been cast. Or maybe I'll take it off. I swear on words. <laughs> I swear <laughs> More enemies. I swear I think 
this is my favorite of Robin's songs. Oh, no. I'm honored by your presence. You're already here. Why not have a meal before? You? I weep for the department. It is my fault. I swear on me. Head your bets. Uh -huh. I swear on human dignity. Again. Watch your head. <laughs> Didn't even break my shield. I weep for the department. Alright. Time to chill out, sir. Dude, this one is easy. What the heck? Hmm, spicy, stimulating. Something ominous has Please arrived. Stay tuned. Burn away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's like really easy, actually. Time to test our rapport. <laughs> We're just having fun. Or maybe I just happen to be lucky enough to finally get around to it on a cycle that uh, you my account you happens to be suited to. And I'm no exception. Allow me to purge the root of the time. That is very much a possibility. Ready. The truth burns oh, everything in this world. Ling Shan, don't die. You won't get away. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. <laughs> the mood is set. Let the show begin. <laughs> Something for everybody. Quick quick bit yeah. tougher. Feeling a little dizzy? Oh yeah. no, Lingsha! Crap. <laughs> Thank you, Fuyun. Oh, you got a lot of nerve. Oh god. Okay, I might have spoken a bit too soon. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Sampo, you need to be doing more damage. Perhaps you still humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Not so fast. Oh, oh gone. no! to go back. You can use your current lineup to separately challenge node one or node two to obtain more points. You can also use the replace lineup function to replace the characters in the two teams. Okay. This one's fine. These ones, they're good. This one, I think, gonna take Sampo out because he's not contributing very much. Uh, 
Honestly, I feel like I need a second subs that a second sustain up there. Uh, I'll throw Lorcha in. And what do we have here? Okay, we'll, we'll keep that one. It's cool that you can uh hmm, challenge Please stay tuned. something each ominous one has arrived. Burn away. Each side individually to try to get some more points if you need to. I know I hate it when in like spiral abyss or whatever. I do like it. Time to test really good on the first half and really bad on the second half and then I have to redo the first half to try to do better in the second half it's just really annoying eternal slip and return the truth burns everything in this world characters I am trying so hard to not die <laughs> You won't get away. <laughs> the mood is set just right. Let the show begin. Perhaps you still don't understand. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. There's a beeline meowing at me. I think she wants more food. One moment. She has been fed. <laughs> Zoning out. <laughs> I can help. <laughs> I underestimated you. Allow me to uh, burst the root of the time to cleanse the field. Wait, I think I need to. Yeah. I'm just breaking those. Feeling a little dizzy? Oh no! Get it together! <laughs> Eternal steps and return! <laughs> Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. May the foul stench dissipate quickly of your body and mind. Ready? The truth for everything in this world is bleeding. <laughs> Thank you. Stay in step. You won't get away. That guy's weakness broken. Yay! <laughs> Something for everybody. You know, actually, if he was the only one here with a follow-up attack, maybe I should be uh, using something else, not the follow-up attack. Well, the mood is set. Let the show begin. That seems How does that feel? smart. Maybe. I'll see you off. Eternal sleep is not the dead return! Time for an overhaul. Okay, I think the priority should be weakness breaking Take your and ultimately defeating this thing. Be of your body and mind, not so fast. Because then all the weaknesses go over to Kafka. I underestimated you. Perhaps you still humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I know if I weakness break it quickly, then that'll get more Himiko follow-ups. <laughs> you won't get away. <laughs> Zoning out. You do You've got a solid help. amount of damage. A respectable <laughs> amount of damage, I would say. <laughs> Time to cleanse the film. <laughs> the truth burns everything in this world. It's bleeding. All right, there we go. Yay, it's all over to Kafka now. Watch your feet. That's gonna be very helpful. Very Eternal helpful indeed. And return. <laughs> 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 
Just right. Let the show begin. Let's do that. The truth burns everything Sun in this world. Show. It's bleeding. Perhaps you still humanity you it conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Oh, this is not doing very much damage at all. Immerse yourself in it. Be of your body and mind. Dreams do come true. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> I have something for you. <laughs> this is not doing very much damage at all. Time to cleanse the pill. Let's improvise. I'll see you off. <laughs> something for everybody. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Of your body, <laughs> the truth burns everything in this world. It's bleeding. <laughs> Not so fast. Oh no, she you got more guys the wrong out. Enemy. <laughs> Time for an overhaul. <laughs> Eternal sleep, the dead return. <laughs> Stay in step. <laughs> Zoning out. I turned on the wrong enemy. Repay. <sighs> the mood is set. Let the show begin. And this is still, still only the first day of the game. It's oh, no. to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Time to cleanse the pit. <laughs> Oh, no. Sleep is not the dead return. <laughs> How does that feel? Oh, no, be of your body. <laughs> you won't okay. get away. Debuff plan. The truth burns clear everything. We in are this safe. World. It's bleeding. <laughs> Finally got through her first eight P bar. Ah, shit. I underestimated you. Does that sting? <laughs> Take your positions. He's got one of these I guys out, which you. means I need to keep hitting it constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Something for everybody. May the foul stench dissipate quickly. Time to cleanse the filth. Okay. Eternal sleep is the dead return. Stay in step. The mood is set. Just let the oh show begin. Oh god, the action value. It's below a thousand. Ah shit. I think I spoke too soon about this She's mode, guys. Never really conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Who will it be? I'll see you off. Be of your body and mind. Zoning out. I can help. Time for an overhaul. Ah, the truth burns clear. everything in this world. It's bleeding. How do you like that? Nothing major. Eternal sleep. The dead return. <laughs> Repay. You won't get away. You chose the wrong enemy. <laughs> Allow me to purge the root of time to cleanse the pill. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> something for everybody. I have something for you. Uh, 
Perhaps you see humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Be of your body and mind. Take a guess. Excuse me. Would you stop Time that? for an overhaul. <laughs> Let the show begin. Come on. I'll see you off. <laughs> May the foul stench Eternal just be sleep. The dead return. All right, that guy's down. That's gonna make my life easier. This other guy's almost down too. The truth. Everything in this world is bleeding. Oh, the action bell. Oh. You won't get away. It's bad. Okay, all the weaknesses are over to Himiko. Or not Himiko, Kafka. Watch your feet. Oh god. You still don't humanity never conceals its My brain is the not and I'm functioning not today, apparently. Let's improvise. <laughs> you chose the wrong enemy. Get weakness broken. You won't get away. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Okay. Okay. The truth for everything in this world is bleeding. Perhaps you still humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Eternal step. Dead return! Oh, I am not doing even close to enough damage. Immerse yourself in it. Be of your body and mind. Stay in step. Dreams do come true. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to purge the root of the time to cleanse the fill. Take your positions. Let's improvise. <sighs> See, and that is why you level up skills, even if you don't think you're actually going to use them much. Sometimes they come in clutch. All right, second half should be much easier. Ready when you Feels We've seen how Acheron does over here. Stream God Adventure. I don't know how we're gonna get through the fourth difficulty though. That was close. Trickier to crack. It's better to make no money. I'm honored by your presence. You're already here. Why not have a meal before you go? Noisy. I weep for the departed. It takes a fall. Get every weakness applied, idiot. Another journey begins. Still water to the flip. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it is a fall. I weep for the departed. 
Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you go? Noisy! Since you're already here, it is over for you. The dice have been cast, or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the departed. Oh my God! I just remembered this uh, this picture I have seen. That's just the picture of Sunday. It's like a screenshot of Sunday getting uh, impaled by the memory zone meme. How about letting the enemy strike? You? And it's just captioned Monday. <laughs> it's a day late to be making that joke, unfortunately, but I swear on words. I swear on balance. I weep for the part. Free will, or was it fate? No water in the sun. I swear to fools. <laughs> it's better to make no move. <laughs> she literally just 
just deletes HP points. HP points, health point points. You know what? She just deletes HP. When repeating the challenge, team members, light cones, and relics cannot be replaced. I could try it with this one. I just need I just need a little bit more on this side. Just a little bit more. Incense ascends, entwined with Oh no, Please I need a lot more. Burn away. Let's wait and see. I need a lot more actually. I have got a lot in there. Time to test our rapport. Not so bad. I'll see you off. Catch up. The truth burns clear as everything in this world. It's bleeding. Eternal sleep. The dead return. You believe you won't get away. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin. Maybe you it'll go better this time. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Take your positions. <laughs> Zoning out. Oh, I kind of doubt it, though, all. honestly. <laughs> Be up your body and mine. <laughs> oh, why did I that? How does that feel? Yeah. Oh no, Lingsha! <laughs> Receive divinity. Refreshing to the soul. Eternal sleep is not the dead return! <laughs> Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Stay in step. Let's improvise. You won't get away. Time to cleanse the film. The truth burns clear as of everything in this world. It's bleeding. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin. <laughs> Something for everybody. Ah. You won't get away. Feeling a little dizzy? Oh no, let me go. Okay, we're good. We're good. Dreams do come true. Allow me to purge the root of the problem. Be of your body and mind. Ready? <laughs> Eternal <laughs> sleep, the dead return! I have something for you. Perhaps you see. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Take your positions. Let's improvise. Time to cleanse the pill. You won't get away. The truth burns everything in this world. It's bleeding. The mood is such. Let the show begin. Perhaps 
you still don't humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens and i'm no exception eternal slip the dead return <laughs> Why did just freeze for a sec there? Let's not do that. Ready. Perhaps you still don't. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. How dare you summon more guys? Be of your body. <laughs> Zoning out. You've got a Everything in this world. It's bleeding. <sighs> Eternal sleep is not the dead return! <laughs> the mood is set just right. Let the show begin! <laughs> if I still don't get enough points here... Then... That's probably gonna be it for this. And then I'll like receive divinity. Refreshing to the soul. Uh, you won't get away. Try doing some work on some of these characters. Try to get more damage out of them or something. I don't know. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Not so fast. I don't remember how we were at this point the first time around, so I don't know if I'm doing any better or not. Time for an overhaul. Burns clear as of everything in this world. It's bleeding. Like I truly just have no idea how this compares to the previous one. Never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. You won't get away. The mood is set. Let the show begin. <laughs> Take your positions. <laughs> Refreshing to the soul. Eternal sleep is not the, the dead return. <laughs> I have something for you. Be of your body and mind. Uh -huh. Zoning out. I can help. Time for an overhaul. Perhaps you still humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. May the foul stench dissipate quickly. Time to cleanse the film. The truth for everything in this world is bleeding. I do appreciate hey, that guy doing a bunch of damage to his own team. You chose the wrong enemy. Pretty consistently. <laughs> That's very helpful. <laughs> Something for everybody. Oh, I'm doing bad though. I'm doing not good. Be of your body and mind. Eternal sleep, the dead return. You won't get away. The mood is set. Let the show begin. Yeah, 
I'm doing not good. Take your positions. <laughs> Alright, all the weaknesses are on Kafka. I'll see you off. <laughs> Perhaps you still humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Allow me to purge the root of the problem. Time to cleanse the film. The Same truth step. burns clear. Everything in this world is bleeding. Dreams do come true. Is broken. Oh, hold on to self. For now, it's I don't Perhaps need it quite yet. Yeah. Never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Eternal sleep is the dead return. <laughs> Let's settle this. <laughs> <laughs> Take your position. Let's improvise. Yeah, I'm doing bad though. The mood is set. Let the show begin. May the foul stench dissipate quickly of your body and mind. I'm doing bad. Stay in step. Like as Please bad as I was before. Time for an overhaul. <laughs> well, it was a little bit better, but. Uh... Yeah. Let me see, how long have I been recording? About an hour. <laughs> oh, nice. Um. Oh! Get a free joie from this, that's right. What idolon is that on her? Poor girl has been sitting here unbuilt. Ether under the ten lords as a judge of souls. I come to the world of the living to enforce their will. All right. Let's do some old, some more Acheron pulls. Got five pulls here. I'm getting into soft pity territory. Oh, it's lagging. That was for no reason. It was lagging for no reason. Come on. Okay, so that's another free pull, I guess. Acheron, please. Bruh! Oh, no, that's not what I want. This is. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay. Well then, I think I'm gonna... Wrap this up here. Maybe. Actually, wait, hang on. Um. Unknowable domain. I should check this out too. Okay, we're not done yet, actually. Need to, uh. Need to check this out. Why is it having issues? All right, hang on. Okay, I restarted the game and it looks fine now. Why are there three of them? Three entire hurtas. Underlying logic assessment complete. No data anomalies found. Attempting the 1,291st message input. Conclusion. No contact established with Herta. What happened? I apologize for meeting you here at this time. 
As you can see, the project has encountered an unknown error. The test will also be temporarily delayed. Logic. A massive void has appeared in the simulated universe. It cannot be observed or interfered with, yet it continues to operate within normal parameters. According to data from the Candela Graphos, this void originally belonged to a time in history named the Scholar's Strife after the Second Emperor's War. But when observed from the outside, all that can be seen within is a chaotic, unknowable domain. What about Herda? This is exactly one of the dilemmas we are currently facing. Madame Herta is displaying unusual excitement towards the reconstruction of the unknowable domain and has volunteered to connect herself to the simulated universe. Shortly after that, we lost contact. All her puppets are currently in a state of complete shutdown. Conclusion: 33 standard hours have passed since her entry into the unknowable domain. Logic. It is er, it is possible to directly locate Madame Herda and forcefully eject her externally. Unfortunately, the location in question is difficult to reach and time is running running short. Let me go in and look for her. Honestly, this is the most optimal and immediate solution. Logic. Given the limited information we have, if I were to connect and subsequently experience the same communication breakdown as Madame Herta, it could result in an irreversible deterioration of the situation. On the contrary, if I were to maintain communication with you on the outside and monitor the system's operation, it would ensure your safety at the very least. But... The situation is urgent. Please depart immediately. On it. Command. Locking the current coordinates of the unknowable domain. You know, now that I think about it, I never finished uh, doing like a single run of um, fucking swarm disaster and I've never even touched golden gears. <laughs> uh, I should do that. Coordinates are in motion, commencing deeper exploration. Preparing to connect to the unknowable domain. Okay. I'll just go with this. Okay, well this team most certainly focuses on ult damage. That's interesting. As the unknowable domain poses a certain threat, logic, I must provide an extrapolation target for this domain. In other words, information regarding the scholar's strife to increase the success rate of the rescue mission. The Scepter system, inorganic neuron clusters and celestial level computational interference devices created by Emperor Rupert II, are widely distributed across various quadrants in the Imperial Domain to complete the observations, extrapolations, and interference orders passed on by him. After the Second Emperor's War, numerous intact Scepter units were handed over to the Intelligentsia Guild by the IPC for research. However, the active Interstellar Energy War, as well as the animosity and disagreements between the various schools, turned what was originally an academic exchange into a scholar's strife with the Scepter's system at the center. Why is the Pentaconi Grand Theater music playing? Uh, what is your objective this time? Rectified statement. It is Madame Herta's objective. Madame Herta has always hoped to amplify the total knowledge throughout the universe. As for her personal research, it originates from a conundrum, solitary waves theory, left over from the era of the scholar's strife. It could be said that this extrapolation is a return to the beginning, back to the origin. However, she has unexpectedly become trapped at this origin. 
Wow, we went from finality to origin. I hope that this knowledge will assist in your search. Hint, you have obtained a scepter. Powerful effects will be unleashed when the scepter is activated. When certain conditions are met, the scepter will be activated. And to learn about the scepter's mechanics through combat. Okay, so... Charge it by using ults. And when it activates... It does ice bounce damage. More or less. Okay. And also delays them. You can freely use the team lineup function. You can choose characters that are compatible with the scepter's extrapolation and lineup. The server's still not open. <sighs> this place is dangerous. Advance with caution. Feeling lucky. There we go. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. <laughs> Uh, all your current scepters will be shown here. Use ults to charge it. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. The redemption. No dirty this tricks. This combat right. needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. I'm honored by your presence. You're already here. Why not have a meal before you leave? The dice have been cast. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I've lost my life. Uh, instructions. The circular shaped interfaces are passive components. Uh, enhance scepter's effects. Select the ones you require. Um, take that. You can insert the component on top of the scepter. <sighs> Click here to activate the omniscience archive. This is the passive component you just obtained. Drag it over the circular interface. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. I like adding fuel to the fire. A little more heat. <laughs> uh -huh. Still waters of oblivion. Wait, I don't need to use this. Oh, never mind. I need yes, I do. Even <laughs> tears shall fall. You've obtained a component you already possess. The number of copies of this compo component you possess will be displayed here. When you have three identical components, it will trigger component synthesis. Okay. Uh, increase its rarity. Grant you corresponding rewards. The hexagonal shaped interfaces are supplementary components. Powerful effects. Okay. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this one does DOT. This does more damage. We'll go with this one. I like this one. Hmm. Excuse me. Incubator. Um, I get loot. Insert them into the scepter in a timely manner. You can try using smart insertion. Okay. Let's 
storms on the horizon. A slow simmer over Loki. Feeling lucky. Dream four. The gleam of old place. <sighs> this combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. <laughs> I'm and honored by I don't know how much I'm going to actually here. do this One mode. I I imagine there's some stuff to grind <laughs> from it. The dice have been cast. Or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the departed. But for right now, at least I'm I'm mostly here for the story and that's why I do it. <laughs> How do you like that? Who will it be? <laughs> See you later. Watch your head. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. <laughs> Something for everybody. Does that again? Okay, can I attack, Tricky please? Crap. Time for a bug. <laughs> Again? Oh. <laughs> what a motion. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> this combat needs optim- <laughs> This is double speed. <laughs> there we go. God, that does a lot of damage. At the brink of the simulated universe, you finally catch sight of Herta's familiar purple silhouette. The genius puppet, one of them, is currently standing on the boundary between two time periods, trying to peel off the unintelligible information of the unknowable domain. You loudly call out to her, but it is not until you are right in front of her that she realizes that the simulated universe has gained another living being. What are you doing here? This place is not for testing. Go and entertain yourself in some other domains. Madam Herta, you have been out of contact with the outside world for 34 universal hours. I specifically requested that she come to find you. 34 universal hours? It seems that not only does the unknowable domain interfere with external observation, but it also affects your sense of time. Though it looks like unobservable nonsense code from outside, everything is completely normal inside. This cannot be a programming error. It is some kind of... impurity. Herta ignores you and Skrulum and casts her gaze back towards the data flow before her. Quickly, you realize that it is not that she is trapped in the unknowable domain. She simply forgot to come back. Alright, this is classic Herta. <laughs> Do you know about the Circle of Knowledge? Herta asks from nowhere. Unlike before, she doesn't seem as frank and forthright. She is immersed in the confusion of some conundrum before her. I don't understand a word. Comparing one's own knowledge to a circle, the greater your knowledge, the larger your circle. And the more unknowns lay outside your circle. Appraisal, a very astute metaphor. Since I began my search for knowledge, whenever the knowledge inside my brain reached a certain level and was about to break through the known circle into the world of the unknown, I would encounter some, some kind of obstacle. Mechanical failure, data corruption, even threats to personal safety. All sorts of unlikely events would occur that would push all of my research progress back to zero. It's like there was a pair of invisible hands constantly preventing me from leaving the circle of the known creating a continuous, unknowable domain. Logic, you seem to be applying a subjective quality to these objective obstacles. Allow me to remind you, subjectivity is the enemy of research. To some, it may be subjective conjecture. To a genius, it is a flash of inspiration. My intuition is telling me that this bottleneck of knowledge that we encounter in the simulated universe is stopping us from gaining certain knowledge and unearthing a certain period of history. Deduction. Perhaps Mythos of Enigmata cast their gaze over the simulated universe? I have 3,215 further deductions. <laughs> Which would you like to hear? That sounds more like subjective conjecture to me. 
Let's talk about this outside. Herta falls into a moment of uncharacteristic silence. She stands perfectly still and stares into the depths of the unknowable domain. It's as if something is waiting there for her, like a puzzle that calls for a genius to solve it. Forget it, I can always come back. That's interesting. Question, were there any useful clues discovered regarding the cause of the unknowable domain? There are some clues, but not many. I saw much of the dark history of the Intelligentsia Guild. It's only been around a hundred amber eras since the Scholar's Strife. Logically, as a direct participant, the Candelagraphos should have thoroughly documented the entire event. But when I compared the data with the history in the unknowable domain, I discovered that there are numerous omissions and fabrications throughout. Logic. The Intelligentsia Guild has always been extremely apprehensive regarding the Enigmata, especially concerning such important historical materials. They would not have permitted the history fictionologists to tamper with it. Unless they did it with the intention to use the Enigmata as a cover, to conceal crucial information that should not exist. It's my favorite time. Watch the drama unfold. The schools shed blood over the allocation of the Scepter's computational power, or there could have been clandestine exchanges happening, but all are inconsequential. There's only one thing truly worth concealing. Knowledge itself. According to the official report, thousands of scepters were flooded by foolish questions from scholars, exhausting their computational power. Now they have become mere photo-op spots for everyone, floating in space like debris. You think I'd believe that? That is the creation of a genius! Screw them. how much more can we improve the simulated accuracy of the scepter? Conclusion According to pr the previous estimates, if we concentrate all the computational power of the simulated universe, we can increase the accuracy to 71% or more. That's enough. I'm sure everyone here knows that I'm never one to accept the status quo. I've always sought to push beyond the existing boundaries of knowledge, find new breakthroughs, and advance the total knowledge of the universe multiplefold. The current extrapolation of the Scholar's Strife is precisely for that purpose. Therefore, I've decided to add in the fifth collaborator for the simulated universe. Um... I don't think we want to meet Polka. We definitely don't want to meet Dr. Primitive. I don't remember who Yu Ching Tu actually is, but we'll go with that one. I really want to meet Yu Ching Tu. Let's revive Rupert the second. Huh? Of course, I'm not literally reviving anyone. Gather all the data from the Scholar Strife, replicate the entire Scepter system in the simulated universe, and recreate the Emperor's external cognitive unit. Then, we will be able to obtain the brain of the fifth genius. Then I shall ask him... or her? No, it should be it. A question. Just like how someone asked the question that I ultimately solved, solitary waves theory, at the end of the Scholar's Strife. Although Stephen and Madame Ron May are both agreeable, I personally have reservations. Introducing multiple objectives into a single study will significantly dilute the research focus and reduce efficiency. Reserving judgment is as good as having no opinion. The Scholar's Strife, My Beginnings, and the Fifth Genius, Rupert II, these are all chains tightly linked to one another. Screw them. You'd better not tell me you're not curious about this extrapolation. As you indicated, to be objective, my analysis does conclude a 15% weightage of curiosity. <laughs> hey, your performance in Golden Gears was decent. Amazing, since I haven't done that yet. <laughs> You are experienced in dealing with Rupert's creations, too, and looks like I'm lacking an assistant. Isn't this just the perfect coincidence? 
Herta stares at you intently, likely not intending to offer you a choice. Of course not. But after careful thought, this is a preci precious opportunity to work with Madame Herta on a research project. Do you really want to decline? That's all I've ever wanted. Then this settles it. Do come and collect more scepter data. I guarantee that you'll see many exciting things. He wants me to go back in? Oh my god, there's so much more stuff here now. me to go again. Cognitive boundary activated. Now we can activate a node. Click to activate it. Expand the cognitive boundary to unlock some enhanced mechanisms. Ah, I see. Oh, come on. How far are we gonna go? Extrapolation alignment has been unlocked. You can choose to switch your desired extrapolation alignment at will. Yep. Well, if it's got me set up for DOT this time around, then none of these are what I want. Let's go Lingsha. Kafka, Himiko. You. Still. Um. Grab whatever. Doesn't matter that much. Oh, wait. Uh, fine. I wanted to put Acheron in the team so I could uh, just kind of blast through it with her. Oh well. Everything in this world is bleeding. Time to say bye. Oh well. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. And I'm no exception. Be of your body and mind. <laughs> Relax. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm grabbing. Uh, fine. <laughs> Let's it's just so much faster with Acheron. <laughs> She's spoiling me. I can't live without her. And the ability to just completely skip fights with trash mobs. Let the show begin! Let's go here. Incense ascends into our please stay tuned. Take that. Heck yeah. Oh wait, I get one more. Pump Lord mentality, my beloved. Great, the more the better. 
What are we gonna get here? Some free stuff. Well, not free, but some stuff. How we do. I don't imagine I'm going to uh Let the show begin. really need to pay too much attention to this. Everything I mean it's simulated world. universe. It it's doesn't get that difficult. Time to say bye. Boom. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens, and I'm no exception. Yeah. Relax. Let's improvise. So, yeah, I guess keep an eye away. on the second channel, because I'm probably going to have um, you won't get away. a lot of videos trying to squeeze stellar jades out of uh, endgame modes and simulated universe modes and such over the next, like, week or so. <laughs> Maybe a little bit longer, so I'm gonna need yeah. time to like Relax. edit them. Everything in this world and such. is bleeding. You won't get away. Take that. Oh. Relax. You are slowly being submerged into the unfathomable swamp. It gives you a fitting status. A nameless scholar, a passing observer, or something else like an ant on a rock. Mesmerizing lights will drape across your consciousness like a translucent veil, the bustling data in your ears achieving greater clarity. Newcomer, adjust the observation pr precision of the imaginary background calibrator to max settings in accordance with the recording frequency of the quantum intervals. And don't forget to pour yourself a cup of coffee, the Lady Scholar instructs you. Pour a cup of black currant milk. Patavia Adler Somerville is vexed over a number, a ghost haunting her soul, eternally maintaining the exact erroneous value in the experiment. The device emits clacking rings, swallowed up by the boundless void. You turn on the vintage ra radio you thrifted out of habit, not really expecting to glean any useful news from it. The Quantum History School's prophecy proclaims, with the deliberations of inorganic cells, new geniuses will rise to the call. Though the guild casts doubt on the prophecy's veracity, the Emperor's corpse is not yet cold. We cannot help but consider the importance of the prophecy to prevent the birth of future crises. How ambiguous. Suits them perfectly, Patavia scoffs. Scoff. That scoffs. Can I talk? Would a genius be born from the myriad scholars crawling all over the Emperor's legacy like maggots gnawing at the fruit of wisdom? Or would Rupert III awaken from among the Empire's ashes? She walks towards the calibrator's control panel and ends the program. As expected, the visualized erroneous value is simulated and combined into a group of stable signals. Record experimental data. It appears at a frequency of once every 13 minutes. No matter where the laboratory is relocated to, the Perlang Nebula, Heldorin, or even at the edge of a black hole, neither the strength nor frequency has shown any variation. It's as if there's a voice, omnipresent across all time and space. Hmm. Interesting. Incense ascends. Oh, no. Please stay That's tuned. what I want. Hey, Herta. 
I would like some curios. And I'll grab this one just because I like it. Although, I guess I don't really need it with this team. It's not like I'm using a lot of technique points. Take all of these. And this. And that's as much as I can do. Okay. Shopping channel. This is an old one. Give me some random stuff. I'm avoiding combat. <laughs> I mean, there's probably stuff I can get from... Uh, from uh, prioritizing occurrences here. We need a strategy. Burn away. Does that hurt? No. There's got to be some kind of compendium I Let can get some begin. stuff for from for uh everything in this for doing world. more occurrences and it's stuff. Bleeding. You won't get away. Could just be that they've Time expanded the original one. Boom. I don't know. I've been doing Divergent Universe ever since it came out. I haven't touched Classic Simulated Universe in so long. On this account, at least. grab anything with the book symbol on it. Anything that looks new. Ah, crap. Um. Gimme curios. IOU dispenser. This one's old. I mean, I guess I'm getting more, um, oh, hello, cowboy showdown challenge, oh, it's this one, hello, Hanu. Badly. Is that all? Practice target? Does that hurt? Let the show begin. Everything in this world. It's bleeding. You won't get away. 
Time to say bye. Boom. See, here's my problem. I want to catch up on everything that Star Rail has to offer conceals its desire to control the heavens before 3.0 comes out. But that's not going to be very long. I don't have a lot of time for that. Especially if I'm also trying to keep up with Genshin. You know? So that's where the second channel is going to come in handy. Because a lot of stuff, like, uh, like exploring and probably um, adventure missions, some of them, a lot of that stuff's going to be going over there. But it'll still be in the uh, Star Rail Let's Play playlist over here. So if you're following that playlist, you'll still see it. But, you know, make sure you subscribe to the other channel so you can catch it right when I post it. Anyways, Dr. Patavia, who knew that she will become the origin of the unknowable domain? She's famous? Within the entire Intelligentsia Guild, Patavia is recognized as one of its most distinguished scholars. While she may be far from a genius, her achievements have earned her a separate page in the Candelagraphos records. For the first half of her life, she was not affiliated with a particular school, much like most unknown scholars. In the latter half, she became a coveted laureate, with every school keen to recruit her in hopes of elevating their prestige. Sounds like you're very familiar with this person. We have some overlaps in the results of the nonlinear physics research. If we consider leaving the circle of knowledge and creating new insights from the realm of the unknown to be the path of erudition, then there's no doubt that she has gone farther than most of her peers. What I think, the signal Patavia reached, received back then and the unknowable domain that currently confines me is like a lifeline that will help me out of this circle. It can lead me to find the knowledge singularity knowledge singularity from the initial discovery of fire the early questionings of gravity then to the first recognition of the relationship between time and space each instance where a scholar has stepped beyond the boundaries of the circle of knowledge led to a significant impact on the world in the world of geniuses such impact has always been considered extraordinary an individual in the Genius Society proposed the concept of the knowledge singularity, describing it as a cognitive tipping point that can permanently alter the definition of knowledge. So, what exactly is this signal? Let me quiz you, Honorable Madam Herta. What are some of the achievements that the mediocre cannot achieve even after an entire lifetime? I know there are many, but by answering this, you'll be close to guessing the nature of the signal. Um. No, I know you'll just answer your own question. Seems like you do understand me well. It's the solitary waves theory. As the starting point of my academic achievements, it can be considered my proudest accomplishment, or at least one of them. The signal that scholar Patavia received is a solitary wave within the universe. At the same time, it is also a conundrum that nearly can find the entire universe in the circle of knowledge. What does that mean, Herta? Oh, yes. Yeah, there's stuff here. Wait, hang on. Is that all, like, quest stuff? Oh my god, there's a lot to do here. Oh, wow. Okay. Um.
Oh, wow. <sighs> huh. Was not expecting there to be this much on this. Alright, well, we can keep going. Sure, why not? Oh my god, this is a lot of stellar jades. Oh, hello. Hang on. I gotta. <gasps> Come on, Acheron! Come on! You have got to be kidding me. Why has it been just Clara's on this banner? Oh my god. Well. Starting from scratch, I suppose. Clara, why? Why are you doing this to me? My daughter has forsaken me. She is being cruel to me. My wife has abandoned me. Bruh. You've gotta be kidding me. I guess my 50-50 streak... Had to end eventually. Things will get better, won't they? Christ. <sighs> okay, back in we go, I guess. Follow ups. Well... Nah. I'm not gonna use that. We're, we're gonna focus on ults. This type of scepter will take action on the action bar. When the scepter takes action, it will trigger corresponding effects. Okay. There we go. That's more like it. Feeling lucky. Give me a curio. <sighs> yeah, I figure focusing here is probably the fastest way to squeeze stellar Storm's jades out of all of this. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. Oh my god, you are useless. Uh, synthesis. Oh my god. Hey. Nope, I can't. 
This is for buffs. Uh, no, I'm just gonna ignore all of that. Feeling lucky. There you go. Slow That's more Loki. like it. Dream four. A gleam of old blades. Let's blast through this as quickly as humanly possible. <laughs> this is double speed. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Bust. Or maybe I'll Please, I'm here off. for two things. I One, the story. Two, stellar days. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the departed. Monacron. It too shall fall. There we go. There we go. Take that. After the Emperor's fall, the cleansing and revenge against inorgan inorganic beings severely damaged the Emperor's legacy. After some efforts of rescue, the Intelligentsia Guild faced a problem. How does one fairly use the scepters to solve problems and reap the greatest benefits for the guild? This is nothing less than an unsolvable equation. The Futural Futurological Congress at Sip Sipohia? The planet of fairness and debate divvied up the spoils and held a banquet where attendees consumed Rupert's soul. Scholars thronged the stands like soap bubbles. You weave through the crevices of people and stand at the forefront of the assembly. The conference will decide the distribution of the scepters. Whose project is more valuable? Who can solve the difficult problems of the future? That who will soon become the owner of the legacy. At least in name. The scepters are scattered across the Empire's ruins like stars in the sky, and each of you in attendance harbors a hidden agenda in your hearts. I'm just here for the show. You just heard that there will be food and drinks provided. Standard Doll, chief scholar of the Astral Ecology School, walks onto the podium. Sharp compound eyes take in the, the debate. He clears his throat, silencing the noise. A perfect scholar, the ultimate ideal for any truth seekers, an invaluable title even in ages where the erudition was not yet born. Infinite life, infinite perspectives, infinite thoughts, and then knowledge also bowed down unto him. Focus all the computational power on one individual, granting them the chance to speak to the gods, pave the way for genius, and create the perfect scholar for the guild. Madness gleams in his eyes. A million problems from the mediocre versus the inspiration of a single genius. Which is more valuable? The answer is self-evident. Among the bustling crowd, a shadow leaves behind a scent that is both sweet and dangerous, diverting your attention. The strange woman wears a pastel-colored gown underneath her scholar's robe, conversing with the people around her. You cannot make out her features, and through the clamor and commotion, you are only able to catch a few words. Survey the crowd for that splash of pastel. The future? Heh, <laughs> why in such a hurry to advance? The interstellar ener energy war will need an even longer time before it settles down. The sa- that. The statement sounds like a taunt with a tone of euphoria. You're asking me? Let's just say, I'm an old friend, here to pay my respects at the School of Psychohistory's tomb. You do not find anything. Hmm. Right, let's take a quick stop at the store. <sighs> Arta, what you got for me? This one's new, and this one's new. You guys, what do you got for me? This one's new. This one's new. Oh. 
Wait, what? Huh? I don't know what I just did, but okay. I mean, it didn't really give me an option to, like, back out of it. Onward. Feeling lucky. Good old IOU dispenser. Give me this one. Sure. Two cards. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. Oh, the bigger the risk. My God. The better the reward. Dude. Feeling lucky. Jeez. Oh shit. A slow simmer over low heat or a quick stir for uh -huh. Oh that that gets everybody. Um I still need a healer. Even if she's also we'll at one to percent rely on your clever tricks to turn it. <sighs> The stench of evil. Be of your body and mind. Okay. No dirty tricks, all right. Should be fine, probably, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> Attention, all bitches! Please survive. Time to cleanse the filth. Track is a banger. Watch your head. Okay, yeah, we're fine. I weep for the depart. We are surviving. Just for oblivion. It's just a tween on the side. Yeah. Everything in this world is bleeding. We're good. We're good. We are in the clear. Take that. Take that, I guess. Let's get Silver Wolf back out here. And just like hope she doesn't die before I can heal her, I guess. Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. Come on, baby, give me something new. Or you can give me Cosmic Big Lotto again. Blah, blah. Nice. <laughs> Take that.
do that, I guess. Yay, Wolfie Heal! Should I be doing this? I don't know. I truly have no idea. I think I'm gonna not do that anymore. Cause I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a good idea to do that or not. Alright, you're dead. Wait, Since I thought so cool. Here, I thought everybody had more HP than that. Now. What happened? You can tell Boss. how much attention I'm paying. Or maybe I'll take it off. Oh. oh my god. I weep for the departed. It's a fall. Big damage. I weep for the departed. Go off, queen. Just time for oblivion. Time for a fun. <laughs> Watch your head. <laughs> this is double speed. I weep for the departed. All right, that ought to do it. It too shall fall. Nice. Just kind of grabbing whatever. Oh, I guess I can like only have three sep at a time or something? Stander, who had hoped to usurp the legacy for himself, leaves amid the audience's curses. The School of Interstellar Energy Resources promises a reconciliary, er, reconciliatory suggestion to bequeath 95% of the co computational power to the four sufficiently grand cosmic conundrums. You quickly see through the shabby double act. The illustrious scholar presents you all with a choice. Either allow one school to own it all, or split the spoils among four, allowing everyone to have a share of the scraps. Um... Uh, I don't know. A perfect scholar. Almost everyone chooses the second option, and thus four vultures dig their claws into the Iron Throne. The first is called Energy Source, drinking heartily from the imaginary river, in hopes of tempering boundless gold. You see the emblem of the technology department, and the interstellar energy war is far from over. The second, Life, attempting to piece together genes and grasp pulses, thirsting to find a body most suitable to house intelligence. Its pupils are forged from metal, its wings carved from trees, the heart in its chest beating like thunder. The third is integration, building a nest with particles and branches with energy, awaiting the hatching of the grand unified equation from the egg, interpreting the deconstruction and reconstruction of all things. The fourth is called future, like a butterfly, like a ripple, seeking an answer divined, to determine if the universe is ordained or chaotic, till the future can be perfectly predicted. Deafening cheers mark a close to the banquet, Rupert II, who once stormed the cosmos, his power now rests in your collective hands. Even the most obscure scholar will be elatedly planning on using the scepters, even if they would never glimpse the legacy's true visage even when on their deathbed. 
It seems like everyone has forgotten the truth. All these pearls of knowledge do not belong to any organic life present. I have the right to remain silent. We are just like a pack of hyenas, devouring the dross left by others and still acting all smug. Patavia lowers her head in frustration and you hear her weary sigh. Door. Again? Hi, <sighs> Herta. Okay, now I could really use this one. Take that. And this. what exploring the cosmos is all about. Feeling lucky. Huh. Uh, Schneider. This one's always good. What do we got in here? This one again. All right, let's try to do better this time. Get over here. Sorry, did I just get Cosmic Big Lotto again? Fortune follows luck. Just Oh my god. Okay, we're healed.
feeling lucky. Oh, nice. Oh, the bigger the risk, the better Slow the pool. Hey, Three, Firefly! What's up? <laughs> this is double speed. <laughs> Since you're already here, wait, I was at full health. Why am I at half health no, now? Mostly. What happened to my health? Ah, oh, whatever. Or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the department. I mean, I think we've pretty much got this in the bag, regardless. It's not fun. Watch your head. You know, I said adventure missions on the second channel earlier, but I'm not sure if I want to do those over there. I I think I want those to be part of the main Let's Play series still, but it's like, oh god, when am I gonna have time for them? Every single patch we're getting massive trailblaze missions, you know? I am kind of thinking of doing like a a marathon of streams during the last week of the year. You know that that period of time between Christmas and the New Year. So maybe I'll be able to get some stuff done in Star Rail at that point. Watch your head. Time for a bun. I don't know. We shall see, I suppose. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Watch your head. Time for a bun. <laughs> this is double speed. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Alright, and down she goes. One percent of a scepter will rival a fleet. Ten percent of a scepter will obliterate stars. One scepter will surpass all that we comprehend, and a thousand scepters will rule the universe. Dissecting our comprehension, reversing decay, stretching space, creating stars, stories about scepters have been tainted by much fiction and delusion, but the truth has proven that many of the observer's embellishments don't even scratch the surface of this genius creation. Such technology has inevitably only been used in sheer slaughter. Patavia successfully clears the research review. Before applying for the scepter's allocation, you hope to obtain some references from this old classmate. But she herself hasn't the faintest idea about the guild's uh, evaluation standards. If you can obtain the entirety of the Emperor's legacy, what would you do? Become a chief scholar. What about you? You return the question to the scholar in front of you. I'll figure out the weird signal first, then we'll see. There's no hesitation within Patavia's response. You log into the application interface where topics and projects are evaluated. Using this as a benchmark, you will be granted an opportunity to own a piece of the Scepter's computational power. Please enter your topic number. According to Article 21 of the Scepter Administrative Committee, you will be assigned to computational power corresponding to your eligibility. Um... Hmm. 
0120, Spatial Replacement Mechanism. Inquiry complete. Topic value calculation in progress. The tone of the system's voice prompt is warm. According to the School of Evolutionary Perfection's theory, it uses the optimal ap amplitude to invoke goodwill in the listener. Verification complete. Your authorized allocation is one ten thousandth computational power. May you discover truth on the road of erudition. Authorized usage of one ten thousandth computational power of a scepter, a value similar to that mysterious signal of hers. A standard response from a combination of feasibility, applicability, financial prospects, and the black box. We got some jades. We got some jades. I'm sorry. There's twenty. what you know what oh we got a lot of stuff here though mm. debating if I want to keep going with this video or not The way this cuts off is funny. Lost 50 50 on this banner to Clara twice. That is ridiculous. Acheron, please. Am I being punished for my greed? <laughs> Alright, you know what? Yeah, yeah, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Stick with this team. This works for break. It's fine. Some new things were unlocked after the last exploration. You should try them out first. These circular interfaces are, are decision components, a special kind of passive component. Decision components conflict with each other and cannot be repeatedly obtained or upgraded. Also, each scepter can only have one equipped. Okay then. Delving deeper into the unknowable domain will cause extra cycle limits. When the extra cycles become zero, enemies will be greatly enhanced. Uh, every battle has a standard number of cycles. When the battle exceeds, it will consume extra cycles. Every round of exploration has a certain number of extra cycles. Okay. Okay. So basically try to stack those up as much as you can. And... 
don't run out of them. Feeling lucky. <laughs> oh. I thought I had five. Why did I think I had five? Yeah, no, we'll just leave. So it doesn't look like I get any more of those from going into occurrence ones. Stream four. with Acheron should have given me more. Oh well. Whatever. <laughs> At least I know that's not how it works and I can go back to so spamming through here. occurrences Why in not peace. Have a meal before you leave? Bust? Or maybe I'll take it off! I weep for the departed. <laughs> it takes a fall. Give me as many stellar jades as I can possibly squeeze out of this. Good morning, Miss Assistant. You connect to the scepter, experiencing its internally simple yet remarkable mechanical structure. A string of shoddy, ugly code instantly disrupts your hollow sink. An armed archaeologist construction team is installing the final thermal insulation component to the engine. You are swept away and engulfed in a surge of information, forcing you to immediately disconnect. The death of the Emperor sealed all the scepters. They lost their ability to communicate and are unable to demonstrate the ability to produce the terrifying instantaneous decisions made during the war. But this isn't the problem. Directly link up to the that directly link up the dozens of scepters among the schools using the engine and cables in physical space. Mollet, chief scholar of the school of pure creation, raises his arms and hoots. The engine ignites and the scepters gradually sink into the spatial depression, waiting to appear on the other side of the universe. They have expropriated your allocation and occupied your lab. They say that the sound made by your one ten thousandth authority is no more than dust drifting through the cosmos. Carter, just- Carter, tell them to give me a day. No, even just half a system day. The experiment can't be interrupted here. Patavia grabs a hold of your arm, but you are helpless as you are merely her hired research assistant. Your compatriots bellow in fury, rushing towards the invader's lab site in an attempt to stop this hostile takeover join the protest against this atrocity. You brandish the power cable of your portable creation machine, charging towards the School of Pure Creation's location. They roughly shove you to the ground, your face pressed tightly against the metal floor, chilling ice crystals piercing your cells. The curtain falls on the lab, encasing you all in a one ten thousandth of a world. Until the migration ends, this ice-cold prison will not unlock. The instant the warp jump commences, the images on the screen dance like trembling strings. The meticulously designed lab environment starts to collapse with the spatial change. Years of Patavia's efforts are lost in the quivering delirium of data images. An inexplicable fire is set alight in your chest. You must wait for a chance to let this so-called prophet witness the rage of a Monday night. Damn. All right, Herda, what you got? What you got for me? Oh, automatically enters auto battle. 
cannot be turned off. I mean, I was doing that anyways, so sure. Just grab this. Incubator again. Give me components. As many new ones as I can possibly get my hands on. Feeling lucky. Oh, nice. Good job, dude. random curios. This place is dangerous. Stream four. All right. Go! Calling all besties. Go! I'm forced into auto now, so I'm gonna drink some water. I weep for the departed. <laughs> It too shall fall. Time for a bun. <laughs> Destined for oblivion. for the departed. It too shall fall. new and that I guess and let's go here give me some cosmic fragments Seek and you will find roll some slots I don't think roll is the right word there Like it. Bruh. Well, screw you. Avoiding the beams challenge. Interact with. Okay. I think I've done this one before. I 
beefed it at the last second. Oh well. Take a negative curio. Storms on the horizon. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. Oh. A slow summer overlook. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. All right, go, go, go. Wow, that is a lot of shielding. <laughs> On everybody except Dacron, I guess. I weep for the departed. Oh my <laughs> god. It takes so far. I weep for the depart. It too shall fall. Okay, and I'll take that, I guess. And this. And this. And this. A string of failed experiments causes the research topic to lose its, inve its last investor. You see the downcast back of a figure. Scholar Patavia is signing an agreement with the Scepter's administrative committee, committee to relinquish the authority to use the 110,000th. The mergers, ever increasing in scale, cause the situation to return to the state of the written script. Knowledge is akin to money, endlessly flowing to the leading school at the top of the food chain. It is at this moment that your group, with nothing as your background, realizes that the initial directive of the major schools distributing the surplus allocation downwards was but a fleeting illusion. Yeah, no such thing as trickle-down economics. It doesn't work. The fragile peace that the Futurological Congress founded collapsed thunderously. What lies on the other side of the high wall of partnership is a bloodletting scholar's strife. The victory will seize control of all the scepters, create the perfect scholar, and the losers will become a laughingstock. As research assistants, you and Herta are unceremoniously ejected from the from the control center, drifting on the outskirts of the scepters. Accompanied by the tremors of the spatial field, the black megastructures dragged by engines continue to warp here. She wraps your forehead, shaking you out of your roleplay. Uh, Assistant Herda, what are you doing? Stop pretending. Your acting wouldn't even fool Peppy. I wanted to find a place to hide and do some reading on the scepter's structure, but Patavia was shooed out before she could even act. Ah, her luck is just as bad as mine. Geniuses believe in luck, too? More precisely, we believe in probability. Humans will interpret encountering outliers in high probability events as luck. Of course, my luck has never been great. Herta sighs in apparent sarcasm, as if talking to someone unseen. I think I mentioned it before, right? The circle of knowledge. Each time I tried to exit it and create a bigger circle, there would be an accident. The database would break down due to the memory element failure at a critical moment. The spaceship that key personnel in the research team were on during their vacation would get wrecked. A collapse caused by an accidental tough during a particle conversion experiment. Disasters would always happen at the right time to absolutely shatter my efforts. No wonder the blue is fraught with disasters. You think I wanted to? 
I'd trade all my messianic renown for an experiment where everything goes smoothly. Herda stamps her foot in discontentment. Oh, poor Herta. She can't win. Well, what do you got for me? And what do these little fellas have for me? I'll take this one. And these three are all new. You can see I, I'm literally not paying the slightest bit of attention to the actual effects of what I'm picking up. Because quite frankly, it does not matter. Trotter catch. All right. Don Hung, get out here. The king of the trotter catch. What is the cloud song? What is the cloud song? Get over here. What are you? What are you, the cloud song? Get over there. Damn it. Take that, I guess. You're out, Akron. You're back in. All or nothing. Feeling lucky. Shopping channel. Uh, give me components. Actually, no, give me curios. No, not this. You have got to be kidding me. Feeling lucky. This one's uh, a bit obsessed with me at the moment, isn't it? Cosmic big lotto. Touch it. I have to just hope for the best. <laughs> I weep for the departed. But I mean, this is pretty doing far. pretty well so far. <laughs> wow. Okay. Have any issues. I mean, it seems fine now, but 
Why is it having issues? Please don't do that. <laughs> oh. Time for a bug. <laughs> God, those things do a lot of damage. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. It's on me. It's less how good are your characters and more how often can they trigger the scepters of for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. <laughs> Trying to pull. Oh. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. My God. Nice. Scholar Mollet's gaze sweeps over the lifeless sink index, his heart's despair akin to an ape that barged into a starship. Dozens of scepters are gathered in the same star quadrant, with frigid electrical cables interconnecting their extrapolation systems. However, the mechanical megastructure only responds with silence. He intended to carry out a multiplicate, multiplicative extrapolation effect and build a complete neural system. However, the inorganic cells constructed by the Emperor far surpass human intellect, and the scholars have no means of activating them. The deceased genius silently mocks the incompetent Mundanites. But this has nothing to do with you. You are merely a recently unemployed research assistant. I miss Patavia. You hear the scepters murmuring, like the writhing of organic cells or the flow of electrons in inorganic circuits. To borrow an analogy from organic life, there are voices confined within the heart, or those are voices confined within the heart. They are coreless neurons, devoid of the function of thought. They are non-synaptic -syn neurons, devoid of the function to communicate. But why do they still emit noise? You touch their skin, and the tiny vibrations travel through your fingers. You feel sadness. Cells without sentience, weapons of massacre. The Emperor's sword that can annihilate a whole, a whole galaxy in a nanosecond. Yet, you find yourself genuinely empathizing with them, your heart quavering, your tears streaming uncontrollably. With the aid of the IPC, the guild has successfully deciphered a message within the scepters. There is a core responsible for asking questions, the centerpiece that issues commands. It was once connected to all entities. But the scepters have not provided any information regarding the core. Positions, functions, all turn up blank. The common opinion is that the so-called core is Rupert the Second. Rupert the second. I keep trying to read it as Rupert. Uh, in, in the present, where the genius is dead, the remaining inorganic cells are nothing more than remnants of the Emperor's mind. Hmm. I will admit, this story is very interesting. Admit, as if I don't want to say that. Yeah, no, this is quite interesting. The 
There's a lot more to it than I expected there to be. Let me see. Let me see. Give me this. Give me my poles. Gimme, gimme. Akron, please. I'm so desperate. for like almost three hours already but I'm gonna keep going like sorry for the uh, the huge videos recently but like I said I want to uh, get through as much of this backlog of missions and stuff as I can before stream four comes out. And also in this precise moment, I also want to get uh, as many stellar jades as I can for Acheron. And a lot of the things that I can get stellar jades from are things that I want to keep on camera. So... That Feeling means, lucky. oh nice, that means doing some massive, massive videos. Toss that one and get a bunch. Uh, this place is my options are pretty much point. either A, do um, a smaller amount of huge videos, or B, do a ton of smaller videos, and then kind of drip feed them out over the course of many I weeks, weep the park. and I don't want yes. to do that because it's when so new trailblaze missions and stuff, like new <laughs> main content yes. comes out, I try to get that out as quick as I can. And so I don't want to be for oblivion. either um, putting that off for I a really for long time because I filmed a bunch of other junk, it's or trying to insert that into the other junk that I recorded, you know? I want to just, uh... Just keep things consistent. The disadvantages that organic beings displayed during the Emperor's War only proved the superiority of Intellitrons in the intelligence race, yet the victory of organic life in both wars demonstrated how advanced organic life is in terms of survival wisdom. You lie in the incubator, your heart suddenly convulsing. Your rejection reaction from the experiment is gradually intensifying. Even among Scholar, Crouch's, experimental subjects, you belong to the most heavily modified batch. 
inject the stabilizing agent. Does a hybrid form exist that possesses advan er, advantages of both the organic and inorganic? To be able to overcome both their inadequacies, thus becoming the growth culture most suited for cultivating intelligence, Crouch Omno inherited the school of evolutionary perfection from scholar Torkirk, and he asks the scepters thus. If the universe is a library, even if it laid bare in front of you, you still wouldn't be able to consume all its books within a lifespan of a mere century. Humanity has stood within the circle of the known from our birth. No matter how we try to walk outward, we will always be confined by a bigger circle, never to leave. But what restricts us from leaving isn't just intellect alone. There is also our primitive organic brain structure and our fleeting lifespan. Crouch's eyes stare into yours, his breathing like a mechanical engine's, which is why the perfect scholar requires longer life. Infinite life. You, you, tell me, how can we attain an unfettered life? A body of mechanical immortality. A metal shell that cannot decay. From Crouch's fierce expression, it's obvious he's unsatisfied with your answer. His lips are moving, but there's no sound. Suddenly, you realize he's rapidly firing questions at you, but all you hear is the buzzing white noise in your ears. Variable input. Rupert Empire Mechanical Cogwheel. Instant Vita Serum. Primate Compatible Promoter. Proof. Variable entering homotypic integration phase. Gene and circuit dual characteristics detected, injecting stable equation. Your vision begins to blur. Determining intracognition. I am inorganic. A cloud of bad thoughts grows unbridled in your mind, taking root in the depths of your consciousness. The incubator's reinforced glass appears no more than a fragile nutshell, shattering to pieces under your fist. You get up and make a mad dash for the scepters. Oh. Well, that seems like possibly bad news. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. All right, what you got, Herda? Nothing new. All right, what do you got? I'll take that. And there's nothing- oh no wait, there is one that's new. I'll take that. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see. Obtain random rewards. Oh nice. Should have gone for the other one that I almost got. Uh, whoa, a lot of options here. I'll take two random curios. You have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. Oh my god. Y'all better not cause any trouble for me. Literally, why are they so obsessed with me? Space time cheese. Oh, that one's good too. I don't want cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I love you, I don't want cheese. A slow simmer over low heat. 
Stream four. Let's go. Let's freaking go. I weep for the departed. It takes a fall. Speed. Still waters of oblivion. It doesn't stop being funny how much damage. Since you're already here, the scepters do. Heal before you leave? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Take this one. Feeling lucky. My fucking health. Got a discount. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I should probably go here. <laughs> blah, 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 fortune telling. Give me one of these, I suppose. Oh, it's this one again. Three random curios. And I'll get that, I guess. Oh, the bigger the risk, the better the reward. <sighs> Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. There we go. Slow simmer over the rope. Dream four. Now, excuse me, would you please let me pass? <laughs> I think I have a lot speed. to do tonight. Since you're already here, why I not have a lot of stellar jades to farm. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I have a lot of story to get I through. The park. <laughs> Am I going to be here all night? Probably.
Synthesis. Uh, get that one. That'll do synthesis again. Get this one, and I think that'll do synthesis again. Yep. And I'll get this one, I guess. It will not change a race, but it can change thought. Determining intracognition. I am inorganic. Who are you? Answer. Manique. Elite soldier of the Rupert Empire. The Emperor's Blade. Kanuzika on planet Skrulum is your superior reporting unit. You hear even more sounds. The echoes within the scepters. The roars of countless Maniques simultaneously emit from the innumerable scepters that have crossed thousands of light years. You remember your glory. In the Annihilation War, in the 11,010 Astronomical Systems, you borrowed the Scepter's power to prevent, in to, to prevent organic life forms from interfering with the Emperor. To disrupt the anti-life equations extrapolations, your vessel was destroyed. But it's not just that. You feel particularly sad. This already ascertained future has given you a sense of duty inherent to machines to slay those wretched organic beings devoid of free will. You will eliminate them and break the predetermined outcome of the universe. Conclusion, slaughter equals salvation. A female entity stands before you. Based on your security analysis, it is not appropriate for you to reveal, reveal your inorganic status to her. Order, play the role of her companion and leave her observational range. Has your cognition been affected? Like a drunken birdie, she smirks, her face a blur. Determining danger level, dire. Death probability calculated as 99.99%. Next, you flee toward the darkness, and then lunge into the embrace of blood. Warning, warning. Other parties' functions far surpass standard organic entities, attempting to revise countermeasures. Loading organic li life form behavioral database. Order, stay far away from this unknown entity and establish contact with more Maniques. Run to the energy storage area. Death probability calculated as 66.02%. Warning, intercepted by an organic entity. Loading anti-organic equation, initiating annihilation mode. Weapon systems query failure. Resisting to activate, er, requesting to activate annihilation mode once more. Weapon systems query failure. A thread of memory that isn't yours appears in your mind, the memory of you being an organic. You attempt to scan the interloper's face, but there is only a miasma of digital gibberish. But you are certain that she is smiling and is getting closer. A beautiful ripple, conflict and suspicion blooming among flowers. I trust you will like this comedy ensemble of myriad protagonists. A blade slides effortlessly into your chest. You remember her name, Polka Kakamond, the Emperor's Killer. Oh shit, we got Polka in on this? Feeling lucky. Erta, you got any curios for me? Nope. All right, what do you guys got? This one's new, I'll take that. How about the scepters? Ooh, a lot of new ones. I truly just don't know what this means. I'm sure I would if I like stopped and actually paid attention to it and like read it. Feeling lucky. But whatever, it's game mechanics and uh, I mean I'm doing well enough without paying attention to them, so.
Nice. I do like that one quite a bit. This is double speed. <laughs> Since you're already here, why not have a that meal before? sounded weird. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. No dirty oil. <laughs> Watch your head. Time for a bug. <laughs> <More season> <laughs> uh, I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. My end goal is to eventually get her E6 S5. Or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. But I'm not gonna take the uh since you're already here. Only roll for her until I accomplish that goal fruit. Like I did with uh, Wanderer. This is Devil's Speed. Because there's a lot of other characters that I really want too. On the still waters of oblivion. Like, if you think I'm skipping I weep for the departed. The Kevin and Alicia XP in the next region, you're nuts! I gotta get them. After how long I've been clamoring for more flame chaser XPs, you bet your ass I'm you know them. Familiar. Not to mention Sunday I next patch. I've been waiting for this forever. <laughs> They really made me wait the entire patch cycle for him. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. Watch your head. How familiar. <laughs> this is double speed. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. You know, there is something to say about the fact that I brought Jiaocho with me to fight Hule. I'm not sure what, but there is Watch something to say about it. Still waters of oblivion.
You mean to say you got infected with the anti-organic virus and was murdered by the Lord of Silence? Herta pries open your eyelids with skepticism, trying to determine if it is possible to get a fever and sputter delirious nonsense in the simulated universe. The anti-organic virus created by an accident is quickly spreading across the species barrier in the School of Evolutionary Perfection's comms network using magnetic waves as its carrier, as if heralding the horrific prophecy of Rupert III's arrival. Tens of thousands of scholars who think of themselves as inorganic maniques have occupied the scepters, instantly declaring war on the guild. The chaos is eventually quelled, at the cost of destroying 122 scepters. Uh, what about the affected? infected? To prevent the infected scholars from reigniting the Emperor's War, the Intelligentsia Guild rescinded their research authority and put them under stringent surveillance for the rest of their lives. The School of Evolutionary Perfection is now defunct in all but name. Are there still infected lurking in the guild? Is the School of Evolutionary Perfection's dissolution a part of the scholars' strife? Everyone tacitly understood the answers to those questions. Capitalizing on this incident, the IPC starts reducing their funds to the major to the various major schools. The School of Interstellar Energy Resources, temporarily established as the result of another century-long war, appears to be the final victor. But to later generations, all these are of scant importance. To Rupert, the Lord of Silence is the existence that prevented him from leaving the Circle of Knowledge. But what exactly are her intentions? The future genius is perplexed by the appearance of her peer. Um, to be lauded a hero who slayed a tyrant? To prevent Rupert's resurrection? No, it can't be that simple. Polka's objective is like a savory treat, being sucked and chewed in Herta's mouth. When Herta realizes it is impossible for her to get an answer in this way, the corner of her mouth curls into a smile. A new conundrum. How exciting, don't you think? To have lived from the first Emperor's War to the next one. How old is she exactly? Could it be that the... De that. Could it be that the legend of device IX? All right, you'll never be able to fathom what piques Herta's curiosity. You mutely pray and hope that the Lord of Silence has magnanimous virtues, that you two won't be murdered for discussing her age behind her back. I have been curious about Polka from day one. And she's just getting more and more relevant as time goes on. Unbelievable! An extrapolation blind spot that only appeared during the Scholar Strife era. But these two factors have not shown any relationship with each other to this day. Malfunctioning equipment and phenomena occurring without rhyme or reason are fatal blows to scholars of any era. Could it be Iron Tomb? No, if that was it, the effect would have extended beyond the simulated universe. The entire space station would have been incapacitated from its power. Could Rupert II have concocted a contingency plan up his sleeve? But he was already dead beyond measure. He couldn't possibly emerge from within the simulated universe. Unless our extrapolation is actually sufficiently realistic? Impossible. The worst case scenario is that the overlapping of these two domains was sheer coincidence. Coincidence. Too many coincidences. Do you hate coincidences? Phenomenon and essence, sparks and shadows. If the rate of coincidences appears, appearing approaches saturation, there must be an essential inevitability beneath such coincidence. The unknown signal that Patavia received was a coincidence, but that was how she became the greatest scholar during the scholar's strife. The unknowable domain. I already can't wait to find out what awaits us. Hi. Oh. I can uh, pick some stuff up here. Neat. Uh, 
get some of this stuff. Wait, what was that? Oh, whatever. Oh yeah, since this one's brand new, I guess it's a good thing that I'm doing it now. Because I can get bonus rewards out of it. Because this is the patch it was released in. trying to make you stronger. I have some standard pulls, so I guess we'll use those. like these when I wish I had some uh, expendable income to throw at the game. Other content creators get to wail constantly. I wish I could. Conundrum mode? What the heck is conundrum mode? Torturous difficulty. Um. Huh? Well, th this is the next one, so okay, I, I guess this is what we're going with. Take that. Stream four. Gleam of old blades. Take that. And this, I guess. <laughs> Give me as much free stuff as you can. Cosmic Big Lotto again. want to pick something different this time. Oh. Wait, it's the same one. We'll go with this one. Uh, I'll take the parchment. Yeah, because we get fully reset. Advance with caution. Dream four. Each time we enter a domain. Our full HP and technique points gets refreshed. <laughs> Beautiful. That that's really nice. That's a really nice curio. Why not have a meal before you leave? Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Okay. 
I guess. And this. The Cosmic Library is mile. The Book of Wisdom gilded in gold. A storm is brewing there. The Intelligentsia Guild's anniversary celebration. Tens of thousands of scholars arrive at the same choice without any discourse with each other. Return knowledge to knowledge itself. Demonstrators raise their banners high, denouncing the corrupt politics and the foul credits. You, Patavia, and countless others are part of the protest rally. You are insignificant scholars belonging to no school. You ascend the human ladder formed by your comrades, spraying your slogan with beacon-coloring paste on the library's outer wall. Hmm. The IPC and the Intelligentsia Guild are wolves colluding with each other. The armed archaeologists' blockade has sealed off the library. Outfitted with mechanical armor, their waiting ranks look like the second coming of the Emperor's War, but this time the weapons are firmly held in the hands of organic life. For truth and dignity, break through the blockade! The activation suppression device causes the appendages to suddenly go limp. Hundreds of bodies hit the floor, straining your eyes. You look around you. More and more people are entering the paralysis zone. Some of them fall, but others are struggling to stand. From your lowered line of sight, the figures of those standing gather and form a forest that blots out the sun. They throw books at the blockade line, and the machines respond with aggression. Consciousness is being swept up in the storm. The non-lethal suppression weapons wielded by the Intelligentsia Guild has a total of 3,112 pages for its table of contents. You slam to the ground heavily alongside countless others, a heap of rocks. An even greater boom follows, a heat wave devouring all oxygen, burning and suffocation encroaching in succession. Ismail's grandiose splendor has been torn apart by the blast the floors threatening to split open with the ensuing tremors of the collapse. Your consciousness is slowly dissipating. Due to a faux pas by the armed archaeologists, their plasma weapons incur a chain reaction, indirect indirectly causing the destruction of the library's warp passage. From the perspectives of the Intelligentsia Guild and the protesters, the explosion was a certain foreshadowing that the conflict was going to escalate in an irreversible direction. The butterfly of history flutters its scaled wings once more. Hmm. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. There we go. I'll take this one, I guess. Hey, Herta, what do you got for me? Nothing new. All right, what do you got for me? Wow, nothing new there. How about components? One that's new. All right, then. <laughs> Onward. Fortune follows luck. This is Just a really like good does. uh, curio. This one that like fully resets my health and stuff with each room. That's really handy. It means I don't have to worry about like anything. Right. 
currents. Whoa. Um. Why is it? Why? Why are the letters all scrambled here? Um. I'll get this one. Yeah, give me components. Uh. Give me a scepter. I don't know what'll happen if I choose the ones with the letters that are all scrambled. Oh, screw you. This place is dangerous. Oh, Silverman Guard Lieutenant, my detested. I need to drink some water. This is double speed. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Bust? Or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the departed. It takes I have drink some water. Time for a bun. <laughs> uh. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. On my mark. Not a step back. <laughs> a little more heat. <laughs> Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Spend freely. Just do it for oblivion. I weep for the departed. go burn. It too shall fall. This is double speed. I weep for the departed. Oh, this clown. Alright, um, this one. Oh, wait. Did I get all of these? Okay. Take that. Let's do the adventure domain. Oh boy, Trotter Catch. Don Hung. Go, 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 God, I'm like stuck. What are you the clouds on? Damn it. Don Hung, you're supposed to be better at this. That definitely doesn't have to do with me messing up. No. Why would you even say that? All or nothing. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. Come on, dude. Feeling lucky. There we go. What does the slot machine have in store for me? I have so many cosmic fragments. Alright. 
onward. What do we have here? Whoa, that one looks new. But on the safest ship. Um. What haven't I seen? Uh. Oh, nice. I got loot. Uh. I will take a scepter. Or not. Oh, the bigger the risk. Slow simmer over the better the Dream four. The gleam of old blades. Alright. <laughs> Go! <laughs> this is double speed. I think I made Since this joke earlier, here, but calling old besties kill. <laughs> Get through this as quickly as you can. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. I weep for the departure. So that I can uh, get through the story faster. And also get to my stellar jades faster. My beautiful, beautiful stellar jades. Spend freely. I weep for the departure. It too shall fall. Just oh. for oblivion. Watch your head. Uh -huh. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. Jack her on new you know what I'll take quantum big lotto in this one because having 1% HP is not a problem in this run Ismail is held by the scholars, and the discussion between them and the guild goes on without a perceivable end. The latter is doing all they can to reprimand the former, saying that they only obtain glory because of the guild. The former, contrarily, is doing all they can to show that the supposed glory of the guild is solely derived from the scholars themselves. The self-sufficient scholars embark on unprecedented academic discourse. The first all-purpose emergency printer is one of the fruits of their academic achievements. You stretch lazily, welcoming a new day's work. Mm. Negotiate with stranded members of, of the other schools. As the repository and transit hub of the universe's knowledge, the knowledge stored in Ismail is the greatest pillar that scholars can rely on. Deploying stashed resources and your own research, you all toil away at your designated tasks, beginning a life within the library itself. You find Patavia among the crowd, 
When the protests began, the butterfly's wings captured her heart and mind, stirring a stark, righteous urge within her, causing her to walk towards the front of the protesting line. That signal. You ever thought about viewing its existence from a higher dimension? She discusses the signal that troubles her with a multidimensional research scholar transferring the data into their model. And so, you all finally ascertain the signal's true nature, a rippling wave that permeated into the imaginary background. It's born from an unknown point and disappears beyond an unfathomable range. As long as it is within the ripple's range, the mysterious error will be captured in the experimental data. But it is different from ordinary ripples. No matter which position it is in, the wave pattern data is completely identical, does not decay, and unaffected by space-time distortion. Just like... a solitary wave. That's right, a solitary wave undisrupted by anything. If we can find out its source and use it as a point of origin, we can build a model that describes the universe's movement trajectory. This model will answer the fourth cosmic conundrum at the Futurological Congress. Is the future of the universe predetermined, or is it chaotic? Interesting. Interesting. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. Feeling lucky. Oh my god, dude. Uh, you have nothing new for me. Alright, do you have anything new for me? Yes. I think it counts as uh, me claiming those for the the things. Even if I uh, forfeit them. Like, it still counts it for Stellar Jades. I think. Maybe? Maybe not. I might be wrong. <sighs> I may very well be wrong. Take this one. I apparently don't need it. Trigger ten random effects in a row. Adventure. What do we got? Ah, avoiding the beams once again. Alright, let's uh, try to do better this time. Surprisingly tricky. This is what exploring the feeling lucky, feeling lucky. Just go ahead. Slow simmer up. Hello again, Hule. I'm back. And I am here to kick your ass once again. This is double speed. Since you're already here, 
Why not have a meal before you leave? Bust? Or maybe I'll take it off! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. It's just a tween of us. Healed. That's a... an interesting oh. effect name. <laughs> We've shorn Time him. <laughs> it's just a tween Watch of us. Watch your I weep for the departed. Why are you guys focusing attacks on the small fries? That's one thing I don't understand that Otto does. Like, come on. I've got plenty of AoE. Focus everything on the biggest guy here. And the smaller ones will be dealt with eventually. No dirty tricks. But I don't feel like doing this manually. It will most likely be faster automatic anyways. Even if it makes decisions that I don't quite understand. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before the end? I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Oblivion. Haha, <laughs> get weakness broken, idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy is getting hit so bad. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Hule is dying badly. <laughs> it too shall fall. There is so much DOT happening here. Bust. And this isn't or even a DOT team. Watch your head. I'm still waters of oblivion. No dirty tricks. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. It's just a twist. Look at all those status effects. Devil speed. <laughs> Time for a bug. <laughs> How familiar. Watch your head. Uh, just for oblivion. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. <laughs> no, it's getting pretty cold up or maybe here. I'll take it off. I might oh. stop recording after this one, so I can turn the heater on for a little while. <laughs> Watch your head. I don't actually know if the space heater. No dirty. Is like an issue when I'm recording. <laughs> it might not. Be. But I'd rather be safe than sorry, you know? I don't want to put out like a four hour video that's got a space heater roaming in Since the background for like half of it, you know? I weep for the departed. <laughs> If I can avoid doing that, I will do so. Bust. Or maybe I'll take it off. All in. Still waters of oblivion. It's actually taking quite a while for this first stage to be hard to go down. I'm surprised. Watch your head. Why is he like stuck at one percent? There we go. My god. <laughs> I 
It's on me. This is gonna be a little while, isn't it? Oh. It's just a tweak since you're already here. Why not have a meal before you leave? Just for oblivion. Time for a bug. <laughs> this is double speed. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. I weep for the departed. This is gonna take a few minutes. <laughs> Maybe I'll pause the recording here and turn it back on when this fight is done. Because I'm running out of things to say. Watch your head. And I sincerely doubt this fight's gonna actually be any trouble. It's just here. gonna take a while. Why not have a yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you all uh, at the end of this fight. Oh shit, we're actually um, having trouble here. Oh no. Wait, what happened to me? Ah. Um. Trying to pull a fast one. Um. Lost it all. Oh no. Well. That's a problem. That most certainly is a problem. But it is a problem that I will deal with another time. Those. For now, just give me the rewards that I have earned. These. Give me these. Give me these. And these. And these. I mean, this is just credits, but I run out of credits like constantly. So I'll take whatever credits I can get. Acheron, please. Of course not. Wait. Can't give up hope just yet. Thank you, March, for another free poll. Of course. Of course. Alright, well, yeah, that's gonna be the end of this episode. But... I think I'm gonna have a couple more episodes before the next patch comes out. So, I guess... We're probably going to continue this next week. So, I'll see you all next time.